This game is called A Skeptic's Guide to Magic. It's a point and click adventure. Um, I tested it out. I'm not a big fan of point and click games, but since this is one of those games I was actually given um, without asking for it, it was actually a developer sent me the key and said, hey, can you stream this? So I'm like, okay, well, I'll give it a shot and see what I, what I think of when I play it. And it was the interface of the point and click games feel strange to me. Anyway, I'm planning on doing it for about 30 minutes or so, just to 30, 30 minutes to an hour. Make sure I time myself. Um, so yeah, this is a another one of those like small parts of these games. Uh, they have a few other games now, but basically the gist of this is your detective and you can solve a letter that's like surrounded by the occult and stuff, and you run into these two witches. They are literally witches, and there's like some kind of magic. Uh, combination of magic and, you know, police work and stuff like that. They said, because I didn't get too far into the game, I don't know uh, much about the story. I read the basics of it, but anyway, so like I said, we're going to play the game from here. So kick back, relax, enjoy. Uh, I know my stuff blocks everything a little bit, but there's, uh, outside of the title, if you find this is cool down here, uh, you shouldn't miss too much, so. And I'm going to start a new game. And it has adult content options. Um, because uh, I am on Twitch, I can't run the adult content options. Because the nudity, while it's pixel detail art, it's still nudity, so I can't run that. So we're going to have to run the toned down version. Um, the blood and the bloody violence and the gore, I wouldn't mind, but the fact they put nudity in there, so. Tone down version, please, just for Twitch. But if you guys decide to pick this game up off of Steam, uh, it's called The Skeptic's Guide to Magic. So, like, so you can go on Steam and, you know, buy it and you see what it's like. It is based in um, real life Birmingham, England, what I read. So there's a lot of uh, references to that. But yeah, like I said, because of the point and click adventure, basically you point and click and, you know, I can't leave yet. I have a job to do. You can basically just run around pretty much and take a look at stuff. I don't have any pencil numbers. I wonder how quick the response time the response time is. Like. So yeah, basically, you just, you know, say it's literally you point and click and you the ground. Um, I can't be born so somewhere else in this cold waste. Nobody collected the rubbish for a while. Yeah. So there's a lot of, you can click on a couple of things here, but the point is you want to talk to these, talk to these guys. You can talk to the dog too. So you're on call tonight, eh, listener? Unlucky. It's the right bloody mess in there, enough to turn your stomach. Yeah, I haven't seen one this bad in ages. And then, you know, you get the dialogue options, so what happened here? Homicide, really nasty to do. Some neighbors made the 999 call when they heard screaming from inside. We were the first on the scene. Who's the victim? Some young kid. Looks like he must have broken into the abandoned property and then. Well, maybe you and the other forensic officers can tell us what happened to this. Whose house is this? Is it vacant? <laughs> yeah, we found the notice of repossession stuck in one of the downstairs of the boys. But the place is in such a state the mortgage lenders must have just left it to rot. Not sure who the former owners were, we'll be looking into it. I bet this is going to affect the property value. Then. <laughs> Who's in charge? Who's in charge of investigation? Lady Death is inside. Didn't like leaving her alone in there, but she insisted. Lady Death? Right, sorry, that's what we on the force call DCI Phillips. I would have kept her always being the person to show up with a dead body in the I see. Why don't you go and check that she's alright? Good conversation. Alright, so we click on the door now. Yeah. Oh, inside. There's a combination of cutscenes and active stuff. I saw the little rat was running there. Bloody hell. <laughs> you said it. I'm assigned victim number 13 for this year. Yo, Pallet, what's up, man? Thanks for stopping by, brother. Unlucky for some, eh? 
strange. There's no sign of a struggle. Yeah, Lester, that's the unusual thing here. Not all this wicker man paraphernalia. Some sort of a cult ritual, you think? A sacrifice? Could be. We've been seeing more and more of that kind of thing lately. Hexes and curses. It doesn't usually go this far, though, does it? These days it's common among teen gangs mostly. And then the press gets to get the right shocking headlines about how our kids all become Satanists. They're gonna love this one. There's this new game called the Dreads causing us a lot of grief. I wonder if he doesn't look like a fucking gang member. Nope, nice cover luster. What you been up to, Pellet? How about you leave the real movie squirts in the detectives? Photograph the scene before some formless windy wonders and it starts moving things. I'll be upstairs, give me a shot of anything. There's a lot of like uh, British slang in here, so I may not necessarily get everything, but I know some of this slang. I'll do my best. Let's so take a look at it. It's empty, whatever it is. Perhaps I should take a photograph of this. Uh, yeah. ritual murder, that is. <laughs> Seems the electrics are working, at least. This place is a mess. Just some empty shelves. Dusty table. Hasn't been used for some time. And basically what you're doing is you're, just, you're supposed to walk around and look at all this stuff. It's a bundle of some sort of plant matter, slightly burned. That's not gonna work. Okay, so we don't need to look at that. Nice plant! What kind of contraption is this? White male, early 20s, stabbed to death in the of it. Liber Magicae Primord Primordialis. I think that's the way you pronounce that. I ain't gonna try to be exact. Oh, this is just good. Looks like some kind of wand covered in blood. This lad seems a bit too old to be running around playing Dungeons and Dragons. Boom! Mother of Dreams! Uh, Euphrosyne, I think that's the way it's pronounced, is Greek. It's been a while since I've done my Greek. Yeah, I think it's Euphrosyne. B, B, I invoke. Ah! Lester? <laughs> Did you? Did you see? <laughs> right, I understand. It's a bit much even for a seasoned old dog like you, isn't it? I saw him move. He spoke to me. That guy? Look, Lester, seems like you need some fresh air. Why don't we? Both go and wait for the rest of your team outside. Outside. Outside sounds good. <laughs> Look, uh, don't go anywhere, alright? Let's <laughs> talk to the courts. I love it.
So that's kind of like the prologue, so now we get to see it. Pilgrim Adventures! Yeah. Nice little, uh, rock music going here. This is all automatic, so I'm not touching anything. This is part of the cutscene. Chapter 1, A Man Without a Home. So we get introduced to another character here. Not the... Not who she's talking this, this, this little girl here. Alright, Blake! Morning, Fi. Your friend's in the back already. Jason? No, the other one. She ran through here a while ago, crying her eyes out for some reason. Val's upset about something? Look, you know I only let you use this place because your old man used to work here. But if your mates are going to be causing the scene and upset my customers... What customers? In general, I meant. Just bugger off, alright? Go through and check on your friend. Don't have the clues in these boxes, okay? Uh, Blake loves working with metal. <laughs> Heavy metal. <laughs> Likes to keep his shop well stocked. Big oil barrels. I've always been tempted to push this button. Didn't I tell you once already? Blake is a man who always keeps the Sabbath. It's a Black Sabbath poster. <laughs> Mornings are the worst. Ain't that true? I have my own broomstick, thank you very much. Miscellaneous junk. I'm not here to sit around and relax. It's always good to know there are spares around. Nice machine. <laughs> and into the door. Oh, great. She's in a trance. I hate it when she gets like this. Snap out of it, Val. Val? Sacrifice. Danger. What? What did you just say? Jason. Jason's in danger? What kind of danger? The man without a home holds the key. Here. What's going on? Jason wasn't in class this morning, and then I got this really bad feeling. I think you might be in trouble. I was trying to get a sense of what it could be. Did I say anything while I was under? Not a lie. Something about danger and sacrifice? The man without a home holds the key? The man without a home? The man without a home? <laughs> Remember that abandoned house where he held the seance last year? Right, probably let it just in that place. A few weeks ago, Jason asked me to remind him of the address. Uh, maybe he had a falling out with his stepdad again, he didn't place his name. Exactly, so he's the man without a home. I want to go and visit that old house, but I really can't afford to miss any more classes. <sighs> Alright then, to make you feel better, I'll head over to the old house and see if Jason is there. Oh, thank you, Fi. You're such a good friend. Almost kind of cheesy dialogue here. You should let me know if he's alright. He better not be drunk. I seriously could feel like that right now. Well, stop by racing. Absolute necessity. Tried to bring a little light from this room. The Book of English Magic. This is Val's sewing kit. Wanted. Val's much better at this sort of thing. Yeah, she's got a lot of interesting things. I don't think so. Everyone needs to invoke the power of flame sometimes. Someone's been doing some research, probably Jason. Here comes the fallen angel, here comes the long dead god. Back from the years next out, and here comes the wild pagan part. Okay. And you can walk around out here too if you want. Watch out! Zebra's crossing. 
That's not my bike. Broken glass. Filthy. I'm off on tour a little motorcycle, she automatically puts her helmet and takes off. Then it kind of switches uh, overland map here and takes you to your destination. To the derelict house. By the way, I'm drinking this new energy drink too. This one's called Carnival Candy. It tastes pretty horrible. Police car, that's really a good sign. What have you got yourself into this time? No, how shall I ever cross this impenetrable barrier? Yoink! <laughs> Interesting choice of lawn ornaments. What a load of old rubbish. <laughs> Sorry, miss, but this house is a crime scene. I can't let you in. In fact, you probably shouldn't even be in the garden. Could you hop over to tape or something? What happened here? That's not something you need to worry your pretty head about, is it? Run along now. Hmm, this situation might call for a bit of arcane improvisation. I was just copying down some directions for a compliance spell earlier this morning. Trouble with compliance spells is the only work on the weak-minded. Eh. I don't think that'll be a problem. Here it is. Seeds from a honeysuckle fruit, petals of a violet flower, and some fresh red dock. I bet this wildflower garden around you would be useful. So now you have spellcraft. Uh, I can't. Is this one I need? Yeah, alright. He's a violent stake. Yoink! Oh, yeah, that's right. You gotta cut it, so let's grab our knife and. Shoink! Uh, hemlock. Uh, that's not what I need. Anything growing on this bush? These are regular green dog leaves. These are the red ones. And doink! And a very useful ingredient. Honeysuckle berries. Doink! Also good to eat. <laughs> Click part of this is kind of troubling with these sometimes. Like, you have to like click double click on everything. And crap! And now we've got our spell. Select the appropriate apparatus to include a means of binding. Uh, uh, court. For good or for ill, bind thee to my will! Do not raise a hand without my command. Whoa, what happened? That's not something you need to worry your pretty head about, is it? Uh, no, you're right. Yeah, let's talk to him now. So you just... So, you were just about to give me a tour of the crime scene, weren't you? I, I was? Yes, you were. Right, I remember. We'd best head inside then, hadn't we? <laughs> I like that he's like, uh, okay. Gods. Nasty business, isn't it? You better start telling me what the hell happened here, right now. That was a murder, a really horrible one too. A murder? Some young lad. What young lad? Who was he? He hasn't been formally identified yet. Early 20s, white, light brown hair and green eyes. If I remember rightly, he was wearing a gray hoodie and a white t-shirt. No, Jason, it couldn't be. Who did this? There are no suspects at present, but it's still early days. I'm sure our investigation will turn up something. All we know right now is the neighbors called us and they heard loud screaming from inside this abandoned house. The kid was already dead by the time we arrived on the scene, several staff members. 
so far we don't have very much to go on. If you don't solve this by the gods, I will. What are all these numbers? Evidence markers. I think I can still remember what what was where if you want to ask me about them. Yeah, I've got much of the right. What was over here at number five? That was the weirdest thing. The wooden sculpture of bones and arrows and whatnot hanging from it. I've never understood modern art myself. Anyway, the lad's body is leaning up against it. What did you find over here? It was strange. A bundle of slightly charred plant matter. Maybe he was one of them vegans. The lab boys will be analyzing it properly. Ah, that was some sort of brazier thing. Looked like it had been recently used to burn something. Sounds like an invocation. Ritual summoning. Huh? Shh, you didn't hear anything. Right, I forgot I didn't hear anything. What was that number two? That was a book, don't remember the title. Something foreign, I think. I'll have to see if our library's missing anything. What did you find here on the table? Well, the others said it looked like a wand, you know, like magicians use. You took his wand as evidence? Unbelievable. It just doesn't make any sense. What kind of spell or ritual he's been performing out here in his secret? I swear I'm going to figure this out, Jason. I know I owe you that much. I wouldn't recommend that, miss. Whoever did this must be highly dangerous. Never seen anything like it myself. Horrid it was. Even one of our friends against investigators had a funny turn. A uh, funny turn? <laughs> yeah, he said he saw the body move, said it spoke. The dead boy spoke to him? What did he say? No idea. I don't suppose it matters much, though. Stress is what caused it. The investigator in question has been put on a forced leave of absence. Alright, I want to have a few words with this investigator. You need to give me his home address. I'm afraid I can't do that, miss. Well, yes, you can. Maybe you just need a stronger clothes. You don't understand. I can't do that because Lester doesn't have a home. The man without a home. Damn. like this so like to me like I, I I never could really get into them just because of the way they play it's open morning luster morning oh this is the room of a man who's not used to picking up after himself there is a system I didn't realize how bad things were. Doesn't this place have a cleaning service? I value my privacy. I don't need some maid coming in here every couple of days and messing with my things. I have find your own place then. Heck, I know you can afford it on your salary, so what's stopping you? What is it that you're waiting for? I'm not comfortable discussing our personal opinions and actors. Oh, come on, Lester. Don't act like we haven't known each other for years. Don't act like we never... There's something going on there, huh? Forget it. Can you believe I actually came here to apologize? I told your supervisor about what happened so she could help you. I didn't think she'd force you to take the sleep of absence. So, I'm sorry about that. There, I said what I came to hear to say. The body's been identified, by the way. It has. A local lad named of Jason B. Just 19. Sort your life out. You're bloody good at what you do. We need you now more than ever. Amazing how few boxes it takes to continue the entire world. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. I keep my clothes. Yeah, I'll answer that, guys. Don't worry. This is 
Lester. Mr. Chapman, there is a courier down here with a package for you. What? I'm not sure what package is. It is nice when life gives us these little surprises, isn't it? The package requires a signature. Good. I'll be right down. I rarely need more than one chair. Why is he up to I'm not about to start unpacking now. Got a key, a wallet, a camera, and his buddy. About as far as I got with the unpacking. At least the bed is reasonably comfortable. <laughs> a small reading lamp on the bedside table. Click. It's a lamp. Not much more to say than that. <laughs> Click. Even go in the bathroom, too. It's a sink. I don't know if you can hear the water running, but it does run. It does have the water running, too. I should have words with Cecil about the mold growing on this bath. Not right now. It's a toilet. Don't need to go right now. <laughs> Alright, let's just get out and do what we gotta do. I mean, there are some funny points to this, but... Like I said, it's, it's... Lester Chapman? Yes, that's right. Where do I sign for this thing? Right here. Kaboom. Spell on I knew it. I knew there was a reason for this terrible feeling I have inside. Oh, jeez. Whoever did this is going to pay. Thanks to you, we know who holds the key. The man without a home. He's lucid. Hey, you pulled yourself out of that trance. I have to give you credit, Lester. You're going to be finding someone here following you. None of my spells have been strong enough to extract the information I need. That's impressive. What? You don't have anything to save for yourself? Not really. I'm assuming that you didn't kidnap me, tie me to church, so we don't hear what I have to say. You're smarter than your luck. I need you to tell me what you saw in the crime scene. You'll need to be more specific in which crime scene you're talking about. You know which crime scene. Look, we only want to find out what happened to our friend. You're a policeman, you're supposed to help people. Actually, I'm a scientist. I'm a second best thing ever. We don't normally help people with those who go to the left and back of their hair. You received a message from Beyond. What did he tell you? Message from Beyond. Help you hear yourself. I experienced a form of psychosis and visual and auditory hallucination brought out by some German distress. I don't care what you call it, Lester. I just need to know what he said. Judging from you, the car, I'd, I'd say you're into the same cult nonsense that poor unfortunate life was involved in. This isn't a game anymore, you understand that? Oh, I do. I understand that I underestimate you. I'm gonna have to dig a little deeper into my divorce. Um, can I work for you? Can't do wait. No, I don't think you can. <sighs> oh, we're not finished. <laughs> Is it? It's this day. Alright, there's gotta be a way out of this. Cactus has a name. Tenon. The computer isn't switched on. I can't even switch it on, let alone use it. It's a large wardrobe. I can't open it while I'm tied to this chair. I don't think a plant is going to help me out of this situation. A cauldron in the room? Seriously? Kick. Oops. Well, they didn't hear that. The 
book is open to a page about truth spells. Wonderful. Even if I could take that, I doubt I can magic my way out of here. That doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, there's a broken glass here now. You know, I wonder what this green liquid is. Hmm, perhaps this broken glass would be useful. Careful. Trying to tell me that Sherlock Holmes back there is magically gifted? Not just anyone can hear messages from the other side by. That takes some kind of natural sense to me, right? You said it yourself, he's, all, he's managed to withstand the whole of magic so far. Well, I don't think I've ever seen anyone more rooted in the mundane than the poor old this guy. I suppose I'll take that as a compliment. Uh oh. Oh, well, I knew I should have used a stronger binding spell. Are you gonna arrest us now? I like to see him trying. Again, I'm not a police officer. Look, you're just kids. Kids with some unusual interests. Good kids always say. Hey, we're 19. Exactly. I already have a daughter of my own to worry about without wasting my time like you always do. You both want to know what happened to your friend? I can understand that. But if you have any information that can assist in ongoing investigation, it's your duty to report it to the police. What if the police are already out of their What if the police are out of their depth already? What if this case involves powers beyond their comprehension? You really do believe in all this stuff. Hell, this would just do what you want. I don't have the energy anymore. We may be kids, but you're the one who's running away right now. Mother of dreams. What? That's what I heard in my hallucination. Mother of dreams. There are numerous goddesses associated with dreaming. Yeah, who knows which one it could be. There was another word. Euphoria? Euphrates? Interesting. I just figure out which spellbook you would use. I'll need to check our library. You mean Lever, Medicaid, Primordialis? Some what? I'll need glasses to tie those on the table next to the barn. The barn should just help cool. Yes, it's amazing how agreeable people can be when they are in my culture. <laughs> it's not a book from our collection. You must have got it from someone else. The magic Circle, maybe? Of course. I think we should have it over there right now. Maybe Peter has another copy of that book. It can help us to work out what Jason is trying to do with us. You got what you wanted from me, then. Good. Hopefully our paths will never won't cross again. He's an investigator. He has, you know, that thing we were talking about. <laughs> Never mind all that. Why is my car here? You drove me here, don't you remember? I'm not sure. Well, it means you can give me a little lift in the magic circle. Convenient, huh? Why would I want to go anywhere with you? Because you saw something at the crime scene that you don't understand, and you're the sort of man who needs to understand. Because deep down you want to know what happened in the house on the bed with you. And because you've been wishing that the universe would show you something to do something to get into your life. What the hell is weird with me? I think it means he's coming with us. Fine then, we're one big happy family. Let's go. It's got a little bit of humor to it, but... And now we're driving to... I like how it's got all the way over there. Hey, so that's why sometimes games like this kind of bore me, is because you can't really do anything. It's like you, you, there's only so much you can do, and then you have to go to the next place. So you're sort of like, you know, there's only so much you can interact with. And 
it sort of it sort of plays out like a novel, which makes it just why sometimes the games don't really interest me. But so far, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's fairly humorous at least. I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for this book in Book of the Inner Goddess by Emily Ravencrow. I see. Just call it. There you go. Witchcraft Today by Gerald Gardner. Hey, this is the book I want. Gods know. This is the book you need. This is where it all began, the genesis of modern witchcraft. Trust me. Alright, but it had better be good. Excellent, that'll be 10 quid. She's going to want her money back, you know. Yeah, I just want to see if she can make it past the chapters about magical pigments. What can I do for you, Pi? Uh, this book. Do you have a copy? No, can't say I'm familiar with that one. Peter, after everything we've been through together, you don't think I can always tell what you're lying? Tell me what you know about that book. Ooh. Look, I just don't want you to get mixed up in that sort of thing, alright? It's bad enough that Jason came in here the other week looking for that damn film. I expected it from him. Jason was after a copy? Did you sell it to him? Yeah, I had a copy I'd been trying to get rid of. The book is completely unreadable. One of those arcane spell books written in a low dialect of Latin. Whoever wrote it probably didn't have all the cards. So why didn't you want us to get mixed up in it? Well, from what I can understand, the book deals with some dark and heavy stuff. It's all based in ancient Greek mythology, calling upon the primordial forces that existed before there were gods or things. Entities like chaos, desire, and darkness. Like I said, it's dark in every single way. But did you have Jason Van Hey, it's not like I recommended it to him. Besides, he's been going off on all sorts of strange tangents lately. One week it was Celtic Reconstructionism, then the next would be Enconian magic, or Enochian magic. This is just another phase of his, most likely. Peter, Jason's dead. What? Ow, when? It's an ongoing investigation. God's no. I just saw him yesterday. So you don't have another copy of the book he got from you? You think it has something to do with his death? I don't know for sure yet. I don't have any other copies, and I wouldn't plan on looking for any, not after this. Probably a good idea. Let me know if I can help with anything else, though. So what do we do next? Well, I know what I'm going to do next. You think we should split up? Yeah, independent investigation sounds like the way to go. Works for me. I think you should, you should focus on the book since it's apparently the only copy. Where are we going to have taken it? If it's not being analyzed in a forensic lab, then it will be in depth and serve over essential. Great, maybe you can have it for us. Bad idea. If any evidence goes missing, that will lead to an internal investigation. However, I can see about getting a look at it, maybe even snapping a few photos from the camera. That's better than that, I guess. While you're at it, be sure to investigate any other potential features you come across. Now we need you in research mode. See what you can find out about those primordial forces Peter mentioned. Okay! Have fun then, you two. And now we opened up a couple of places we can go poke around in. Hi! I'm sorry about kidnapping you and tying you up, by the way. That was Pi's idea. She didn't think you'd be very helpful to just approach out the blue. I see. It could have been worse, though. She wanted to strip you naked and blindfold you as well. I talked her out of it. Thank you. You're welcome. This is your first time in a magic shop? Yeah, let me write down a few things. Let me write a few things down for you then. It's sort of shocking, was I'm supposed to buy these things, but why? I'm going to help you with the investigation, trust me. You show this to Peter and he'll say yeah. Chapter 2! Alright, so I'm about an hour into the game. So, so far, it's like, outside of the, a couple of humorous notes, it's like, it's kind of bland, really, to me. I'm hoping maybe it'll pick up a little bit. Hello, Peter, right? This is me. You can ask about them. About what? The scars. 
You don't have to keep trying not to stare at you. Where'd you get them from? Alright. Go for it. Yep. First time we're doing it. You never believe how close I came to being one of those statistics you heard about in the 10. My life only really began after I came home when I discovered magic. That's what really saved me. I see. So what can I do for you? Here, Foul Banks seem, seems to think I'll be needing the items on this list. Ah, magical starter kit, eh? Well, I can definitely sell you the first two items. All my crescent knives are of high quality. The best mortar and pestles are made of stone. It makes it easier to clean. As for the magic wand, well... I'm sure I could rip you off and sell you one of the gnarly twigs that keep lying around for the kids. But a real wand, a true wand, that's something you gotta find for yourself. It sounds like you, they ripped up Harry Potter a little bit. It should be personal, unique, it should mean something to you. That's what gives it power, my friend. Right, I'll just take the dangerous sh sharp weapon and the medieval kitchenware then. <laughs> Lester will only buy useful items, certain items might become purchasable later. Well, I've got 300 quid, I guess. I'll buy the crescent knife. And buy the mortar and pestle. And the rest of the stuff I can't get. That's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot. And if you want to, you can talk to him. It's Peter, the owner of the Magic Circle. Off from the shopping list. I don't think he'd want that. Tell me about Fi. You've known Fi for a while then? Yeah, we've been through a lot over the past couple of years. We've helped each other get through some tough things. She's a bloody powerful witch, I'll tell you that much for free. She doesn't trust people easily, she has her fair share of issues. But once she lets a guard down, she'll be one of the best friends you've ever had. As long as you don't get on her bad side, at least. Well, Val. Val seems very... happy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's always like that. Oh dear. Yeah, it can get a bit irritating sometimes. But we love her anyway. Did you know Jason well? Sorry about your friend Jason. Did you know him very well? Yeah, Jason's one of the regulars in here along with Fi and Val. I still can't believe he's gone. Hope someone finds whoever did this. And end conversation. That's all for now. Alright, mate. You can look around here, but I don't think there was, if I remember right, there wasn't anything of value. It's just like, this is the funny one though. A beginner's guide to the internet. That'll never catch on. The internet will never catch on. That's what he's saying. It's a Commodore Amiga 1200. I've heard these are incredibly powerful. Now bear in mind this is, uh, you know, set in the, like, the 90s or something, so... Yeah, it's a little funny. Strange mask. And that can walk around, but there's nothing in here you can grab. You gotta talk to her. Uh, well... Game X. Kind of funny sometimes. There we go. Quit staring, Lester. <laughs> you come here often? Sure, the magic circle is the best. There isn't any... There isn't really anywhere else in the city that has this kind of inventory. Most magic shops just sell healing crystals and things like that. Peter's a really talented wizard, so he knows exactly what we need. And we get some pretty great discounts. Call me, you know, Fi. Me and Fi and Jason went to the same high school. Each of us discovered magic independently, but it didn't take us long to realize that we shared a common interest. Fi learned it from her mom, I think. Her dad wasn't so keen. What do you think happened to Jason? Sounds like he might have tried to summon something he couldn't control. He should have known better. If magic is what killed your friend, I don't want anything to do with it. I think it's a bit late for that. But don't worry, it's going to be wicked. Take care. You too. Alright. There are more books and ornaments in here. So now what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to try to get a hold of that book. Now, uh, let's see. Well, let's go to the lab first, right? They might have it here. Dumpster. A load of rubbish. Forensic Science Services. Uh, I don't see anything. It looks like the book around here. It's not yet. And 
keep the lab very well organized. Expect to see you in today. Heard about what happened so bloody horrible. If it had happened tonight, if it had happened tonight, I would have been the one on duty. They kept him so much Yeah. Let me know if you ever want to talk, alright? Take a look. There's a beaker and a glass stirring rod on the counter. Samples of specimens in here. I don't need anything from there. The fridge contains jars of pig bloods. We use it in blood splatter tests. It's also good for scaring interns. Don't think I need any blood. It's a microscope. I don't need to use that right now. Our lab is all the latest technology. Not here, just sit around. Lester, didn't I send you home already? Relax, Mathira. I just needed to pick up a few things. Well, Alright then. You understand I didn't have a choice, right? If I didn't put you on leave, then something could happen. Yeah, I do understand, don't worry about it. That's good, you just need to get some rest, alright? Boxes of equipment. The dark room is used for developing crime scene photographs. I don't need to develop any photos right now. That's not gonna work. Okay. Is that the time already? This room has seen a lot of dark stuff. So really there's nothing in here we can do, so... Since we can't find what we're looking for in here, I guess we have to go to the police station, right? It's the only other place on the map that we haven't gone. And let us go check it out, shall we? I noticed that the house is not here anymore. Oh. Kind of unfortunate. The police station. This building is the old Victorian custody block. I don't think I need any. I wish my car had a siren. <laughs> car probably belongs to one of the plane clothes detectives. Oh, let's go visit the police station. Alright, Lester, feeling better? Not exactly. Well, it's not like anyone to blame you. I still get the chills just thinking about what was in that house. I need to take a close look at the book we found at the scene. Head down to the basement thing? Good luck. I'd warn you that Quasimodo is in the bad mood because he's always in the bad mood. Police work is 90% paperwork. Just some log books. A mug with some pens in it. I don't need any. Quiet today. Quiet is good. Reminded to clean them up themselves in the break room. Well, let's head on down. You aren't allowed back there. Damn, I need to get into that room. Funny I can get them to leave the building. Yeah, I need to take a look at some evidence. I just supposed to be on leave. That's what I heard anyway. Do you believe everything you hear? Bugger off, Buster, you're not getting in there. 
just sawed off. <laughs> I gotta figure out a way to get him to leave. See the match yesterday? McGrath had another scorer. What day is it? If you make it a couple, I wouldn't mind one. It apparently has a rotating dialogue there. Every police station needs a good coffee machine. I've been trying to cut down. Maybe I'll see less terrifying hallucinations that way. Twin Peaks is the only television program I've watched lately. Don't have time for that. A stack of plates. What's this? There's a local business directory on the table. This could be useful. Microwave, where would we be without them? Oh, how great. It's a sink. It's a half empty bag of chewy treats for the police dogs. Sure, you never know when you're gonna meet a when you meet a hungry dog. <laughs> nice flour, I'm gonna put it there. It's a toaster, it makes toast. Sandwiches. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, you don't know. The sergeant's office. I don't need to pay him a visit. What's this? It's important to have a first aid cabinet handy for emergencies. I don't think I need to take anything from the first aid cabinet right now. You doing all right now, Lester? drunks will pick up tonight. I've got a bet going with George. I could murder a couple. City so seems to be getting more and more dangerous. Something off about the old house. Don't blame you for coming over all peculiar. I don't need to go into the inspector's office. The interview room is locked. The observation room requires a key. Telling me they had a fire here not long ago. Someone having a sneaky cigarette in the men's loose, he said. Phillips. 
someone left their copy of the investigative report here. Very careless. Hmm. The dead boy's jacket contained a receipt from a motorcycle repair shop called Smith Motors. The name of that business sounds familiar, but I can't remember exactly where it is. The report doesn't tell me anything else I don't already know. I'll just leave it here. Finally, cabinet. Don't need to go rummaging around in there. Brief user presentations that show Nothing else for me. Okay. I, just, I can't figure out what to do here. I'm almost out of my time for today. My lab is never this busy. Filing cabinet. Don't need to go rummaging. Yeah, Phillips office, very nice one there. Superintendent's office, I definitely don't belong there. Another filing cabinet. You see that new movie Groundhog Day? Bloody marvelous, is it? Why does everyone keep bothering me? Whatever it is, I'm not interested. Is there a reason you're down here? I don't have time for this. Okay, apparently I still can't get in there. I don't know what else to do. Magic circle. Maybe I can ask, uh... Hey, Kim, how's it going? Hey, bot. What's up, Bull? Let me see. Maybe I can... Maybe she'll be able to tell me something.
wait, wait, can I just use it? Can I just use an item in my inventory? I'm doing alright, man. I'm just kind of, I'm just playing this game here, trying to figure out uh, how to do what I need to do. game I got a key for a while ago, so I'm just trying to, like, give it a shot here. So point-click adventures aren't really my thing, right now I'm a little confused. I'm supposed to try to get this thing from inside the lab, but I can't seem to get in there. Hi, Mr. Chapman, welcome home. Leave it out, so I don't want to have work. Oh, what is it? Sorry. Regarding that young lady who showed up here earlier, did you notice anything strange going on when I left with her? Hmm, I don't seem to recall you naming the young lady. But bravo, sir, bravo. Uh, forget it. So, so I've been talking about the ball going on on my app. Really? That is a peculiar topic of conversation. I want you to get rid of it. You don't feel that it adds much to the life otherwise you have that. No, I don't feel that it does. Very well, I will have a good care of this at Just a pleasant day. Alright, well, let me see. Oh, I'm kind of leaning back a little bit, so. Yeah, I can adjust it a little. Give me a sec. music down to 40. This game doesn't have too many adjustment options, so... I don't need to call anybody. Come on. That's not gonna work. Why won't it let me... Ugh. Yeah, to me it doesn't sound so loud, so it's probably about as far as I got with the unpacking. Don't need anything. How do I... He said something about... Okay, so he said something about the bloody... Um... Auto parts place, but I can't figure out how to get him to... That was something new. I can't figure out how to get him to uh, recognize it. Hmm. Interesting symbol. I will. Thank you, Mr. Chapman. I do not require any assistance back here. <laughs> Shoot that yourself, Sizzle. Goodness, no. All the ever hot boxes. Guess who pays? Guests who pay by the hour must clean up their own messes. It falls. It's called the Skeptic's Guide to Magic. It's a point and click game. Uh, I got a key for it through um, a program I'm a part of where we get the get keys exchanged and we get to uh, stream them. Sometimes you get some good games, sometimes you get some that are just like make you scratch your head. I've got a few through it so far. I've had a couple of really good ones. This one was actually uh, offered to me by the uh, developer. Sometimes you have to request them, sometimes they just give them to you. This is one of those cases where I, I got this one.
still here? Have you ever thought you might be a workaholic? You know what? I feel stupid. I think I know how to do this. I want to solve this particular puzzle first before I end it. I said I was only going to go about an hour, and I'm a little bit over that right now, but... This puzzle kind of got me, like, perplexed, so I want to at least try to solve it. So as far as my synopsis of the game, I mean, like I said, point-click adventures aren't my thing, but it seems pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of humor in the text, so at least, you know, there's something to give you uh, a little bit of entertainment. But as far as, uh... If you're into these kind of games, I think it's probably a good game for you. For me, it's not, like... Me. Let me see. Maybe I can use a business directory here. That's not gonna work, no? I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I'm like, I'm literally trying everything in my inventory here right now, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's not, that's one of the downsides about these games is they don't give you clues sometimes. I mean, the fire alarm says something. You know, you look at the fire alarm, it says something about a fire. But... Question mark moment here, like what, what am I supposed to do? said that this is the thing about these types of games that bothers me because it's like okay what am I supposed to do now it doesn't give me clues where I'm supposed to go I mean it gave me a vague thing about the uh, about the auto parts store but
watching you. You aren't allowed back there. I don't know. See, there's the book I need right there, but I don't know how to get at it. going to work. I'm not sure you even wonder what half of these things are. <laughs> guys um yes that's the game up to this point apparently i can't figure out what to do next pretty good about figuring stuff out like this, but I seem to be lost. Let's see. Oh. S for Smith Motors. Here it is, over on Coventry Road, right on the way to the lodge. I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm an idiot. Apparently that's how you use the bloody items. You have to click on it a few times. Okay. I should take a biking again. <laughs> Listen, if I'm not under arrest, I'm not coming anywhere with you. And even if you do arrest me, I'll probably not be answering any of your questions. This is a connection with a very serious criminal matter, Mr. Smith. You understand that your refusal of cooperation may cause me to regard you as a suspect. You can regard me all you like, sweetheart. You aren't even slightly concerned that something may have happened to one of your customers? Nah, not really. If you'd met my customers, you'd understand. Most of them are wankers. <laughs> the thing is, I get a lot of people coming through here and I've never been good at remembering faces. I'm good at remembering bikes, though. If there's a crime against, been a crime against a bike, I'd be the man you should come to. I see. Well, thanks for all your... all the help. I'll mention it. Lester, fancy seeing you here. I didn't know you were a biker. 
It used to be thinking of taking it up again. You should think long and hard about that. These things are tough for us. The only way to come between a man and his midlife crisis. Your being here doesn't have anything to do with this murder investigation, does it? Because you are supposed to be on leave. Like I said, I'm here to see a man about a bike. Some of us have work to do. I'm heading back over to Central. I'll see you around, Lester, but hopefully not too soon. What's this? There's, all, there's an oily rag sitting here. I'm sure he won't miss it. Yeah, yoink. Lots of tires. That's a nice bike. Not my job to clean the place. Looks like he's had a shipment of something. Barrels of oil. Shelves of things. Not really my kind of music. <laughs> oh yeah? Who are you into? Steel Pulse, Mishara, Musical Youth. Mishara, Musical Youth. Reggae, huh? Isn't that stuff all kind of repetitive? And this isn't? No, and this isn't? This? Uh, yeah, fair point. <laughs> I wonder what the red button does. I'm more of a musical youth fan myself. He seems to be working hard. My name's Blake. What can I do for you? Does your bike need the service? Not likely. I haven't had a bike since the 70s. Let me guess. The wife made you get rid of it. Ex-wife. Perfect time to get back in the saddle then. I'll have to think about it. Well, I also sell a selection of tools here if you fancy yourself a handyman. What can I do for you? You handled that detective very well. Nice job. Thanks. In this line of work, you learn to keep your mouth shut pretty quickly. Haven't heard anything about our turf war, but I'm not going to get involved either way. You think our investigation has something to do with rival biker games? I don't think anything, alright? I'm just staying out of it. Take my advice, you blue thing. You're in this shop by yourself? That's right. Used to have a partner, but it didn't work out. People have this annoying habit of dying. <laughs> What's the biker scene like? I've been out of touch for a while. What's the biker scene like these days? Same as it's, as it's been for years. You've got the normal folk, the hobbyists, and you've got the one percenters. You mean the biker gangs? Yeah, exactly. This here is outcast territory right now. They're all nasty people. Work. What do we got for sale? A blowtorch. Ah. Apparently, the this feels empty. Yeah, I gotta supply your own fuel. I'm afraid. I'm sure, I can find a propane tank somewhere. Okay. That room's not for customers. Okay, guys. Well. So, like I said, overall, the interface could use a little bit of work, but it seems pretty straightforward. You just keep clicking on stuff and eventually you come across it, like I just did there. I kind of found, I knew the directory had something to do with it, but I thought you had to use it by the phone or something. I didn't think it was literally like click on it, click on it, click on it until you got what you needed out of it. So, the story seems to be, right now it seems to be pretty straightforward. Just kind of do a detective work. Maybe it gets more interesting later. But like I said, point and click aren't, aren't my thing. So, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna play it on stream again. If I mess with this some more, I might be off stream just to see how it goes. But um, if you're into this sort of game, you might like this one. I mean, like I said, it doesn't seem too difficult. There's a couple of, like I said, the, it was a little annoying you know, trying to figure out how to use that right? Um, if you, uh, let's see, I'm going to go into Steam here because I can't remember. Let me go to the store page. So if you want to pick it up on Steam, it's called uh, Skeptic's Guide to Magic, and it is... Uh, blah, 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 blah. It is planned to be released in about... 12 days, 11 days, so there's not a cost on the uh, website yet, on Steam yet, so I guess I got a bit of an advanced copy of the game. 
Cool. But yeah. Anyway, if you want to check it out, put that on your wish list if you're into these games. That's the link to go to Steam and, you know, pre-order it if you want. Um, like I said, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a review on it based on what I think of it. Um, I like I always do, and that's how I'll post this particular part of my stream to YouTube.